Hello, welcome friends, family of Finca de Vida, Farm of Life. I'm here with Jamie and Casey mm -hmm. and Brian, of course. Um, <laughs> we're actually at a, one of the farms in our neighborhood where Casey and Jamie have this really extraordinary project underway where they are building a whole aquaponic system, which we're going to hear about. But let's just start by really finding out who they are, what their background is that got them here in the first place. J J Jamie's a bit of a legacy in this valley because she's been here <laughs> for like eight years as volunteering on different farms and she uh, not quite that long, but oh, <laughs> okay. oh, sorry. <laughs> Around Costa Rica, I guess, but not here. Yeah. That's yeah. Fun. I originally um I originally came down here seeking community and I sold everything in California and packed my bags and was planning on coming down here and never going back. And um yeah, and that was a whole amazing experience in itself, a learning experience especially. And uh, I ran out of money and I went back anyway. But so I've been kind of <laughs> just doing that for the, the past four years. Coming back down here, this place is a serious vortex. It's really amazing and it brings a lot of family and like-minded people. So yeah, so I was looking for a place where I could live my lifestyle of, you know, eating from the land and having gardens and also a place where it could be financially doable to, to exist here. So with that would come like, you know, where, where my passion was, was creating a place that was healing for people to come. And I never got around to that, but that's why I was so excited to meet Brian and Jody because you guys are totally doing it at Pinca de Vida. And um, I, I was, you know, pulled back there time and time again and, and just loved hanging out at Pinca de Vida. And then, yeah, so, so Vrata, um, who owns this land here, has been a friend of mine for a while. And I've been back and forth, you know, thinking this would be an amazing place to, to be because she's always had um, dreams of community here. So it worked out perfectly for us to come down and uh, do aquaponics because we have to start with growing the food so that we can feed the people and, you know, having our own sustainable energy here and um, you know everything that, that comes into that lifestyle of sustainability. What was, I'm just curious, what was the defining moment when you know you were just living the average everyday typical American, standard American lifestyle that you decided to live more sustainable? I mean what was that uh, kind of, was there a moment in your life you decided to change? Well I had been uh, traveling for a while and every time I went somewhere I was like oh I could totally live here, I love this place, it's amazing and mm -hmm. you know mostly tropical places. And, uh, and then when I came down to Costa Rica, I, I think I had, I, I went to Finca Ipe where they have a biodynamic farm there and they also uh, were trying to create community as well. And, and then I went back to the States and I was, uh, I was practicing colon therapy. So it was, you know, it was a great job. I could set my own hours and everything, but I was still in a box every day and I just couldn't do it anymore. I ne knew that I needed to have a stronger connection with nature and uh, being in a place like this is, is really suitable for that. Excellent. That's great. <laughs> Casey, your story. Well, I can't wait to hear it. My story. Um, originally raised in Orange County, California, and kind of mm. grew up in the whole like cookie cutter mentality of learn to be a slave and, you know, get a job, make a lot of money, buy a car, buy a house, get a wife, have a kid, the mm -hmm. whole thing, right? Sure. And so, kind of escaped that whole reality by getting into spirituality and then getting into superfoods and then learning about sustainable business. And so I moved up north to Northern California and had an amazing opportunity to learn from a lot of elders in San Francisco and Nevada City, Reno, Shasta, Oregon. Mm -hmm. And so just that whole, that whole culture is completely different than Southern California culture. Um, so essentially I jumped out of the, the orange curtain and got into more of a, a real world where, or well, more of a, a world that would be not reliant on, uh, uh, I guess, unsustainable technologies and and people that just work mindless jobs. So right. we're doing, we're looking to do stuff that has meaning, and specifically what we're doing here, you know, is aquaponics. And the reason why we're into aquaponics is because we we got into superfoods. And I met Jamie at the Raw Spirit Festival about a year and a half ago, and so learning that. You know, yeah, we can buy superfoods from other countries that are full of minerals and we can sell them to people in the States and that's all cool and we still do that. But we're kind of at this point where we want to produce our own foods and grow the most mineral dense food and have it available and abundant to us and a community that we're working with, which is what we're doing here in Costa Rica at 
Agua Sagrada. Awesome. Yeah. Let's let's take a look at it for a little bit. Let's just get a shot of. It's, yes. it's underway, it's under construction right now. Casey, We're on the foundation. Just kind of give us a little bit of a walkthrough of what's of what's going on. So right here you're seeing a 26 foot diameter, what, what's going to be a stem wall and then a dome. Um, and so what we're doing in a fish tank, you know, this is actually going to be the fish tank, because in aquaponics we're, we're using fish water to grow food. And so in that case, we have, uh, we kind of have, uh, we've dug two feet use, into the ground. You use fish water to grow food because <coughs> the fish water has lots of minerals in it? Correct, yeah. The Using fish water to grow food is very similar to using soil that's like full of all the, the, the bacteria and funguses and all the things that you want. So when you take a, when you take a, I guess a cup of fish water that's being properly uh, introduced and introduced to fish and, and algae and food, uh, mainly through vegetables, it'll have just as much uh, uh, nutrients and bacteria as regular soil, or if not more, because it has water. You know, it, it's water soluble and it doesn't have a medium like dirt. So we're looking at, we're you looking at using water that has just as many minerals as good soil. And not using yeah. soil. So, fruit. so basically, this aquaponic system will produce fruits and vegetables that have the same vitamin, mineral, enzyme uptake as our greenhouse grown from soil. Uh, C, but may have more. <laughs> may have C more. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're in Costa Rica. So I'm, I'm just season. curious. <laughs> have any studies been done on this? Have they, any studies been done on this at all where they've compared? you know, soil grown fruits and vegetables to this aquaponic system? You know, I, I haven't actually seen as many of those studies as I'd like to say I have. Okay. Um, yeah. But the the results of the, the nutrient content of the bacteria in the water to soil has been seen. So to do a test to see how much mineral in intake would be the next step in okay. showing And that. what's the difference That's between hydroponics and aquaponics? Well, hydroponics and agua aquaponics, you know, okay. is, no, agua. Uh, the difference between well, what, what our teacher, Max Meyer, says is that when you're doing hydroponics, it's really bottle ponics or human ponics because you have to add the human element of doing chemicals into the water and you have to consistently feed the water with chemicals. Well, with concentrate. Concentrate. Which uh, a, lot of, a lot of the, especially the commercial ones, conventional ones, have, have chemicals in them. Right. Oh, so the minerals are literally like loaded into the water. Mm -hmm. And in your system, the minerals are generated from the fish pond. Correct. And it's not like, it's not like we're just adding like you know, this type of mineral or that type of mineral, it's like you have a full <coughs> spectrum of bacteria that's growing. And in an aquaponic system, we're cultivating the fish. So this fish tank that you see here, um, this is going to be a massive fish tank. It's going to go about about four feet high, you know, mm -hmm, from, mm -hmm. from the ground, uh, from this point on. We're, we dug one foot into wow. the earth. And then, so we, we're doing this specific type of construction, which is earth bag construction, because it's pretty much taking all this really good tierra earth, dark, dark clay, Yeah. and it's, we're compacting it down, we're going to stack it up, and then we put a layer over it, and it's, it's very strong, muy strong, because when you go, when you come into this point, we fill it up with water, most of the water pressure goes down and out, mm -hmm. and so we're going to, we're going to have the earth kind of pulling it in, mm -hmm. and so this tank of fish is really like, we're watching the fish, the fish are being the farmers, who are the yeah. observers, they're going to produce the good soil. They're producing. They're producing the the soil water, the soil water web. Right, right, right. Um, so essentially, what we do is we feed the fish what we would want to be eating, and so then they break it down and they multiply it and make it even more available for us to eat. That's excellent. Um, yeah, and, and then, then that gets so this so this fish tank right here will actually be enough to feed troughs that go that are going all the way down here. So it's not a lot of fish for how, how much we can actually grow the vegetation and the fruits. This is amazing. And you know, Pharma Life Family, we talk about a lot of raw vegans and B12 okay. deficiency. And we know B12 can be had from the soil and good bacteria. And we know that soil is already eroded away, so a lot of times people become B12 deficient. So this could possibly be the answer, right? Because you're gonna have so much bacteria in here that a lot of raw vegans will now be able to get their B12 with an aquaponic type system. It's a great idea. Yeah. Really Luca, is. Can you stand behind you? Because all that flattened, you know, foundation is what's going to be, you know, greenhouses is the fruits and vegetables. Yeah. So this is actually going to be the the troughs, the veggie troughs. So we're going to have like around 10, <laughs> four foot by 80 wide, or 80 foot, four by 80 uh, troughs with green leafy vegetables growing. And so we just we leveled this land, and now what we're going to do is we're going to come in and we're going to lay earth bags in. 
know, four feet, four feet, four feet, and uh, have the rafts, and the water is going to be pumped up after it's been filtrated, and it's going to be spread through here, and then all the roots are going to be sitting on a raft, and it's the roots are going directly into the fish water. Excellent. This this is beautiful. When this is completely done, Pharma Life, we're going to do another video blog, and so you'll be able to see the actual finished product. Because um, I know I'm excited to see it, and I'm really excited, and wish you guys the absolute best of luck and absolute success. Also, you're doing this. This is not just in Costa Rica. You're doing this all over the United States and spanning the globe. Where else um, do you have this, and where do you plan to go? Well, this is our first one, and unfortunately, mm -hmm. we're running out of time. Our, our trip in Costa Rica has been this trip to try to find the right land and right community, which yeah. we've just found. And so, you know, this is the beginning stages. It's going to sure. continue to develop as we leave. We're still waiting for electricity to get here, so we're doing micro hydro. And until that happens, we can't actually pump the water up. So this is going to be kind of like a slow moving development. And our next journey is going to be to Medford, Oregon, at Angel's Farm. Wow. We want to do it. They're doing a healing retreat there. Mm -hmm. And there's going to be the aquaponics system. They're growing um, other vegetables and sprouts with crystals and and wheatgrass and, and wheat mush Amazing. medicinal mushrooms. So, so it fit, it'll fit, fit in perfectly with everything that's happening. And there. then we'll be back. Yeah, there'll probably be some other projects here and there, but it's either, it's Oregon and Costa Rica. This is good stuff. And the name of your website, so everybody can go there. Specifically for aquaponics is organicaponics.com. Organicaponics.com. And then our, our main business, which is going to be selling all the, di the different green leafy vegetables that come from the system, is greensociety.net. Excellent, excellent. And I know Casey and Jamie have mentioned, uh, you know, doing some retreats with us at Farm Alive, so we're really, really excited about that because they know so many people in the California area that mm -hmm. are into this lifestyle, so we can't wait till they come to our place. Yay. Great. Yeah, yeah. Some fun. Sooner than later. And Jamie's a great so chef. She's a hell of a chef. <laughs> amazing raw food chef. Yes, we'll she is. Some, Almost some as good as myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so stay tuned for June. That should be our yes. first treat. Okay. And thanks cool. again, Casey and Jamie. Good luck. Yeah, Lots of success luck. with this. Hugs. 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 Yes. Hugs. 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 <laughs> All right. All right. Yes. No worries. See you, Farmer Life. Goodbye. For now.